Aspromonte is not just a back backdrop to the story, it's not just a location, it's actually like a protagonist of the film, uh, I think. Um, and it's Aspromonte that inspired me uh, basically for everything. And it was a place that I've always been going to for a very long time because I've been living in, uh, in Calabria with Jonas Carpignano, the producer of the film as well, for uh, several years. So it was an area that I've been knowing very well. But since the very first day I stepped foot in there, I felt like it was such a special place that needed to be you know, considered. Uh, to and also I wanted to talk about it in a different way because so far uh, if you've ever heard of it and the people that know about it usually know it mostly because of the history of its usage as a refuge for mafia activity but that's just the side of the story um, Aspromonte has much more to say it's much more than that and uh, and especially as you can say, tell by watching the film, has this uh, otherworldly, um, magical uh, atmosphere that just catches you, and I uh, it never left me. <laughs> so I, when I started receiving so many images, mm, just by you know from a ride uh, through the woods. Um, at some point, I just needed to put them down, uh, and uh, they became film. Well, actually, um, I was already writing the script when uh, I shot the short film. The short film was more a, of a test. <laughs> Aspromonte uh, literally means harsh mountain, and it is a wild, harsh, rugged place, mostly inaccessible, and I needed to see if I was actually able to do what I wanted to do and, and see if uh, the locals would have been down and if, you know, if I was, if I was even able, strong enough to do it. And so it was more of a test. And the feature was, like, it's always been, the idea was always been of a, of a feature, of a, uh, so um, um, the past being discovered and uh, um, creating all this uh, turmoil, um, it um, basically comes from the idea that Asperonte has this strong, strong roots in his past, especially with the ancient Greek word. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you, in, well, in, in the, uh, in Calabria in general, but especially in Aspromonte, there are areas where people still have some words in the ancient Greek in their dialects. There are roads that are uh, still written in uh, in ancient Greek. It's also in, in Italian, it's called Zona Grecanica. So it, it is so much rooted in its past that I felt like I needed to show the world that especially nowadays where, you know, gentrification, colonization, the mother word has reached almost everywhere, even, even the most remote areas of the world. Well, there it will never have the same impact. The people will never be shaped by it as they could like in every other uh, place because just because the, the the strength of nature there the, the force of nature the um, the rule that they live by uh, never really they are never really gonna change and uh, and I feel like even if they're they have complete access to all this world because they have Instagram all the kids are just like random kids all over the world and um, it's not like they are living in the past but they just are very, very, um, uh, very, very rooted to their tradition. And I feel like that's a beautiful thing, that it's still surviving right now. The nymphs to me are the, again, the force of nature. They are these um, 
beings, these uh, otherworldly beings, ethereal, but at the same time lethal, that uh, are undefinable. And this is like probably the most uh, important characteristic to me. Um, it was very important for me to make them stay like this, mm, meaning that they are mystery and that will never be actually solved in, in the film. Um, but one thing for sure is that once they're unleashed, they can't be controlled anymore and they will start to re rebuild all the balances of the world around them. I still have to thank Caspar Monte for, for this suggestion because uh, it's basically really based on my experience there. There's so much real realness there, so it's, it's, it's it, everything is so real and concrete. Um, from the nature to, you know, like uh, the life of the people there, but at the same time uh, you feel like there's some, some more magical energies around you and uh, also, you know, I really wanted to tell the story of Aspromonte as it is. I really wanted to open a window on that, on that world that was the more uh, close to it without um, putting anything that wouldn't respect how it actually is. But I have this, um, you know, way of uh, um, living things through, you know, uh, um, a sort of surreal eye, uh, you know, dealing with my daydreaming that comes from my subconscious, uh, that was very, very simulated by, you know, my experience in Aspromonte. And the two things came just together, you know, naturally. I have had um, lots of inspiration from the mythology, lots from the art world, there's all the pre um atmosphere that reminded me of many things um, of Aspromonte and the nymphs in general, even the, the, the nymphs are drew, uh, I mean to, to create the names I drew a lot from mythology but, but um, even though they're not like in mythology um, but um, I think that um, it's mostly I, I was always you know what stayed with me a lot were those old stories that grandparents used to tell you when you were kids that didn't have like such a great Handing or like a um, morality that was so clear and the atmosphere though was so real and uh, and strong that it would stay with you even though you didn't know why and uh, and I feel like that played a lot in order to create this Andrea De Sica um, is also like a friend and um, I admire uh, his work and the, and the way he, like he always did uh, his own score, but um, he, he's, you know, um, the sounds that he uses usually are a little bit more uh, electronic. Um, and we knew that um, this collaboration uh, was going to be very interesting because of that, because we, like he, he started using more instrumental sounds uh, in order to you know just uh, fit in the story better and uh, he created um, a beautiful combination that i think really works perfectly with the story and makes it very unique and uh, was actually a game changer for the film it's very present and i'm so glad that uh, i finally uh, reached out to him and he, that he said yes because it's been such a pleasure working with him. He he listened to every um, every idea of mine and he had so many great ideas as well. So it, it was very so much fun working with him. <laughs>